Hi everybody. Now, you probably know that one of the big disadvantages of the Xbox Series S or Series X or Xbox One S or X or OG over the PlayStation consoles is that they cannot stream directly to YouTube. There is a YouTube app um, that you can you can download for your Xbox, but all it does is allows you to play YouTube videos. At the moment, it still doesn't allow you to stream directly to YouTube, which is which is a bad thing, you know, because YouTube is huge. Twitch is very difficult to get discovered on. However, there is now a way of streaming directly from your Xbox console to YouTube. This is this is a game changer in my opinion, um, and it means that the only thing that the Xbox Series S and Series X are now lacking is an onboard video editor. But hopefully, we get that. So. Let, let's get back to this. So now, basically, what we can do is you can stream to Twitch, and then a secondary service will then tr stream that back to YouTube, and the quality is fantastic. So in effect, you're also multi-streaming. You're streaming to Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Now, this isn't my idea. I didn't. I didn't discover this. This was a great guy called um, L A S Curry or Laz Curry. I'll put a link to his video tutorial in the description below this video. So you want to click on that, go through that. It's a really good to the point tutorial that shows you how to um, use Aircast to do this. Now this is free, okay? This is free. Um, you get unlimited streaming hours. You only get one output, but that's all we need because we want to stream to YouTube and we get full source quality. So you don't have to pay for this at all. You don't have to go to, to premium. Now you must have already set up your Twitch account. So this is my Twitch on on um, on YouTube. Um, on sorry, this is my Twitch account. <laughs> I don't know where YouTube came from. Um, and so you've got to make sure that within the Twitch app that you've downloaded for um, your Xbox, you know you've set it all up so it so it all links up um, like so, so that you can stream to Twitch. You must be able to stream to Twitch first. Um, it's fairly easy to do. It's fairly self-explanatory. If you don't know, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Once you've done that, what you do is you go over to Aircast and you create an account, and you'll end up with a with a screen kind of kind of like this. So you you link Aircast to your Twitch profile, and you link Aircast to YouTube, and then the screen that you're going to be looking at is this one. Let me show you how to get to this one. So you know when when you're on YouTube, if you can't stay paused and up here you have the create button so if you click on that and you click on go live this is the one you're going to be using internet's a bit slow today and this is an incredibly powerful tool as well to use because the internet is very very slow today so this is your live studio if, if you like and what you'll have to do is and and um uh, Laz Curry or LAS Curry in his tutorial shows you how to do this. Basically, you take your stream key, which is there, I won't click it so you can't see it, and you put it into um, your destination stream. Um, and then you have auto start there, auto start there, so that when you streaming start streaming on your Xbox to Twitch, that will then start streaming um, from, uh, from Twitch to Aircast which sends it straight to YouTube. But if we look at this particular screen here, what you can do is you can edit um, how your stream appears in YouTube search and to your subscribers, which is something you can't even do if you, di if you stream directly from PlayStation to YouTube. So we can go in here, we can click edit. As you can see, so we can put the title we want to put in, we can add a description, we can have it as public members only, um, unlisted private that sort of stuff um, you can put the category with the game title so in this case it would have been division 2 and that's very important because when uh, YouTube isn't that brilliant at live stuff uh, at the moment it, if if you're already subscribed to someone and they start streaming live you'll probably see it on your home screen uh, in YouTube and you'll see that but if you want to search for live games it, it's not that great so you want to do everything you can to help it and so you can set the game title so it will come up in the correct category for that particular game and you can add a proper thumbnail as well you can even have stick it in a playlist so when it's finished um, you do all that sort of stuff whether it's a paid promotion um, 
there we go so you can do all that stuff that you can't do when you do it direct from a PlayStation so then we save that and then basically what happens is you, you'll start streaming on your Xbox you know you'll go to start streaming down there um, and then you you do have to wait a little bit um, because it's it's about a minute delay for the stream to go to Twitch and then start firing it back to YouTube. However, once it's once it's linked up and you do start talking, the delay is quite small. It's only it's only a couple of seconds. Um, so there's a little bit more latency between a Twitch stream and a YouTube stream, but nothing that can affect you know your gameplay or really your chat with your subscribers or the people who are watching you on YouTube and on Twitch as well because they'll only be a couple of seconds behind. So when they're asking you a question, it will still be relevant to the stuff that you're doing on uh, Twitch um, and on YouTube. And it all kind of comes up here. Um, uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. This is this is a total game changer. Now, I'll, I'll mention this as well. What is, what is absolutely really cool as well is, if we go into the edit screen again for our stream, this visibility portion here, so you can actually do member only streams so again people who have who have become members paid members of your youtube channel you can do a member only stream very very easy and you can have private stream or unlisted streams now these are very important if you want to create videos um for youtube from your xbox for um for, for viewing at another time so let's say you want to do a tutorial on the division two um, on how to change your loadouts for example at the moment there's no way to record um, gameplay on your Xbox Series S Series X or Xbox one with audio with your talking over the top of it you can't do it you can record the video if you like on a Series S or a Series X you can record it to an extent unless you can do up to an hour's worth of worth of gameplay but then you've got to take that video to your laptop and you've got to add the add the speaking on top of it um, using this system though if you create an unlisted video what you can do is you can stream to twitch and, you, and what you're basically doing is you using twitch almost as a dvr <laughs> so it goes to twitch and then it will come back to youtube um, uh, as a unlisted or a private stream and then you can do a in one take tutorial video um, and you can just go through and do that like that. And remember, within YouTube as well, within the YouTube editor, you can trim the beginning and trim the end. So especially the beginning, if there's a bit of a gap that you didn't want to have, you can you can trim that off. And that is incredibly powerful. It means that we can now very, very simply do one-take tutorial videos, you know, how-to videos, best of... Well, not best of videos, how-to videos. Um, obviously, gameplay we can do. Um anything like that that that's that's a video that isn't a live stream we can now also do that as well as long as you do it in one take so i think that is absolutely fantastic so many 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 thanks to uh, las curry las curry fantastic piece of detective work to find this out many many thanks to aircast for providing this free service you know which enables to finally easily stream straight from our xboxes to youtube and to multi-stream at the same time. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully you're as excited about it as I am. If you've got any questions, put them in the boxes below the uh, below the uh, description. Hit like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of the same. And I will, of course, see you again soon.